In this video, we're going to look at an example of an introduction section for a scientific article. Now, this is an introduction of a paper that has already been published, and I acknowledge my co-authors in this. The introduction section of an article often has around between 500 to 800 words, considering that you only have 3,000 words for an entire article. So do see if you can stick within those word limits. Review the target journal's guidelines for authors carefully to see how many words in total you are allowed to use. And getting started is quite daunting. So I would say start with some temporary headings. So open a blank page, then imagine your friend asks you, what is your research project all about? Answer the question in a paragraph. So, in other words, just type the answer to that question of your friend out. Now, have a careful look at the paragraph you wrote. Most often, each of the sentences you wrote down will become a paragraph on its own. When you are explaining something to someone, we are using a logical flow. There's a logical flow of your thoughts from the very first paragraph right through to where you state this is why what the problem is and why it's important. And this is where these temporary headings come in. Create temporary headings. So before you start with putting any words on the page, just create your temporary headings. What you want to include in your introductory paragraph, in your second paragraph, almost just stating what message you want to convey to the reader. So each paragraph, before you start creating the paragraph, you just start off with a temporary heading. And you put that temporary heading in italics because you're going to remove it a bit later on. And you can see that each paragraph, before I started, started to create it, I created a temporary heading. And here the last paragraph ends off with the problem, the significance, and followed by the aim. So this type of layout works very well when it comes to planning your introduction. So now that you have created all your temporary headings, you are going to start adding some text. Under each of these temporary headings, you're going to create your paragraph and start off with an opening sentence. Now the opening sentence states the topic of the paragraph or the message that you are aiming to convey to the reader through this paragraph. So add your opening sentence first. You already have created your temporary heading, so you know what you want to message you want to give in this opening paragraph, or the specific paragraph underneath this heading. Now add your opening sentence. So it becomes easier, because the opening sentence will align with this message that you want to convey with this paragraph. Remember, each paragraph needs to convey one message. So, for example, this specific paragraph is all about the determinants of ball release speed and what has been investigated around that. But there is a gap in the research when it comes to the role of muscle thickness. So that's the message I want to convey to the reader. So start and create an opening sentence. Then fill the body of the paragraph with your facts, specific message you want to convey, and then end it off with a closing sentence. So the closing sentence summarizes the content of the paragraph and is different from the opening sentence. The closing sentence also connects this paragraph with the next, and that helps with the flow. See if you can avoid paragraphs that are too long. Usually, a good guide is maybe around 100 to 200 words. And this brings us to the last paragraph of the introduction. And in this paragraph, you will end off with the problem, the significance of the study, followed by the aim or the objectives of the study. You've now created all your paragraphs, so ensure that this last paragraph really highlights and make it very explicit as to where the problem is 
and what the importance of this study is. And then you can end off this introduction section by stating what the aim is of this specific study that you are doing. You can download this example of an introduction section in PDF with the various comments next to it from the homepage of the Research Masterminds website and I'll leave a link to this in the description box below this video. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.